Welcome, welcome, welcome to Boulevard 40, home of the Bible Reading Party, creator of the thebibleinoneyear.com, a website to encourage everyone to read the Bible. It's week 45 of reading the Bible every day. Today's scheduled reading comes from the book, book five of the book of Psalms, according to my study guide, which is The Woman's Guide to Reading the Bible in a Year by Diane Stortz. I will be reading Psalms 119 verses 1 through 88. I'm reading from the New Believers Bible. It's the compact version. It's the New Living Translation. If you want to hear the Bible read to you daily, make sure you subscribe to this channel with the notifications turned on so that you can be alerted each time a new video is released. Before I begin the reading, please hit that like button, which will help not only this video, but this channel become discoverable and suggested to others. Psalm 119, Aleph. Joyful are people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. They do not compromise with evil and they walk only in his paths. You have charged us to keep your commandments carefully. Oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Then I will not be ashamed when I compare my life with your commands. As I learn your righteous regulations, I will thank you by living as I should. I will obey your decrees. Please don't give up on me. Beth. How can a young person stay pure? By obeying your word. I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. I have recited aloud all the regulations you have given us. I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways. I will delight in your decrees and not forget your word. Gemel. Be good to your servant, that I may live and obey your word. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. I am only a foreigner in the land. Don't hide your commands from me. I am always overwhelmed with a desire for your regulations. You rebuke the arrogant. Those who wander from your commands are cursed. Don't let them scorn and insult me, for I have obeyed your laws. Even princes sit and speak against me. But I will meditate on your decrees. Your laws please me. They give me wise advice. Daleth. I lie in the dust. Revive me by your word. I told you my plans and you answered. Now teach me your decrees. Help me un understand the meaning of your commandments. And I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I weep with sorrow. Encourage me by your word. Keep me from lying to myself. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I have chosen to be faithful. I have determined to live by your regulations. I cling to your laws. Lord, don't let me be put to shame. I will pursue your commands, for you expand my understanding. Hey. Teach me your decrees, O Lord. I will keep them to the end. Give me understanding and I will obey your instructions. I will put them into practice with all my heart. Make me walk along the path of your commands, for that is where my happiness is found. Give me eagerness for your laws rather than a love for money. Turn my eyes from worthless things and give me life through your word. Reassure me of your promise made to those who fear you. Help me abandon my shameful ways, for your regulations are good. I long to obey your commandments. Renew my life with your goodness. Wow. Lord, give me your unfailing love, the salvation that you promised me. Then I can answer those who taunt me, for I trust in your word. Do not snatch your word of truth from me, for your regulations are my only hope. I will keep on obeying your instructions forever 
and ever. I will walk in freedom, for I have devoted myself to your commandments. I will speak to kings about your laws, and I will not be ashamed. How I delight in your commands. How I love them. I honor and love your commands. I meditate on your decrees. Zion, remember your promise to me. It is my only hope. Your promise revives me. It comforts me in all my troubles. The proud hold me in utter contempt. But I do not turn away from your instructions. I meditate on your age-old regulations. Oh, Lord, they comfort me. I become furious with the wicked because they reject your instructions. Your decrees have been the theme of my songs wherever I have lived. I reflect at night on who you are, O oh Lord. Therefore, I obey your instructions. This is how I spend my life, obeying your commandments. Heth. Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words. With all my heart, I want your blessings. Be merciful as you promised. I pondered the direction of my life and I turned to follow your laws. I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Evil people try to drag me into sin, <laughs> but I am firmly anchored to your instructions. I rise at midnight to thank you for your just regulations. I am a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. Oh, Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. Teth, you have done many good things for me, Lord, just as you promised. I believe in your commands. Now teach me good judgment and knowledge. I used to wander off until you disciplined me. But now I closely follow your word. You are good and do only good. Teach me your decrees. Arrogant people smear me with lies. But in truth, I obey your commandments with all my heart. Their hearts are dull and stupid. But I delight in your instructions. My suffering was good for me, for it taught me to pay attention to your decrees. Your instructions are more valuable to me than millions in gold and silver. Yoda, you made me, you created me. Now give me the sense to follow your commands. May all who fear you find in me a cause for joy. For I have put my hope in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. Now let your unfailing love comfort me, just as you promised me, your servant. Surround me with your tender mercy so I may live, for your instructions are my delight. Bring disgrace upon the arrogant people who lied about me. Meanwhile, I will concentrate on your commandments. Let me be united with all who fear you, with those who know your laws. May I be blameless in keeping your decrees. Then. I will never be ashamed. Cuff. I am worn out waiting for your rescue, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes are straining to see your promises come true. When will you comfort me? I'm shriveled like a wineskin in the smoke, but I have not forgotten to obey your decrees. How long must I wait? When will you punish those who persecute me? These arrogant people who hate your instructions have dug deep pits to trap me. All your commands are trustworthy. Protect me from those who hunt me down without cause. They almost finish me off. But I refuse to abandon your commandments. In your unfailing love, spare my life. Then I can continue to obey your laws. This concludes today's reading. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, share it with someone else who would appreciate it. Check us out at the website, www.thebibleinoneyear.com, for helpful resources to encourage everyone to read the Bible. 
links to that website, the Bible that I read from, the study guide, and some pretty cool Bible-related channels can be found in the description box below. So check it out. I look forward to responding to your feedback and any questions that you may have in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.